Hello students, today we will discuss another topic that is called friction. So first, what is friction? Friction is defined as the contact resistance exerted by one body upon a second body when the second body moves or tends to move past the first body. That means the friction is a contact force. It is a retarding or opposing force always acting opposite to the motion or tendency to move. That means suppose here two rigid bodies are in contact. So, when the second body is moving or tends to move over the first body, then this is the direction of the applied force and the friction is acting on the opposite direction. So, what is the example of friction? That is bearing of all types, power crews, uh, screws, propulsion of aircraft, missiles, through the atmospheres and so on. There are several examples of friction. So first we will discuss what is the main reason of the friction. So friction depends on detailed structure at the molecular level and it is very difficult to analyze from basic principle. The main reason for the frictions are interlocking of extended parts of one object into the extended parts of the another object. That means this is the total area of contact but here if you zoom this portion so there are some roughness. So the actual point of contact is less than the total area of contact and this actual point of contacts there are some molecular bondings and there are some electromagnetic interactions. So because of these molecular bonding between the molecules of two surfaces or the objects in contact the friction will occur. So there are two types of frictions one is static friction another is kinetic friction. So, what is static friction? Static friction is a force that keeps an object at rest. That means the friction experienced when individuals try to move on a stationary object but without actually triggering any relative motion between the body and the surface on which it is moving. That means suppose we are applying a force on this object but it is not moving. That means here the static friction is playing or occurring. Now there are three possibilities. So one is when the applied force is less than the limiting friction. That means the body is purely in the rest condition or equilibrium condition. The next condition is the applied external force is equal to the limiting friction. So that means the body is in the limiting equilibrium conditions. That means uh, up to this portion the A is equal to F max that is equal to mu S n is valid. So for static friction the limiting friction is equal to mu S. Mu S is the coefficient of static friction into the n that means the normal reaction force acting on the body. The third condition is F greater than F max that means body is in motion which means here the kinetic friction is valid that means Fk is equal to mu k into n. Mu k is the coefficient of uh, dynamic or kinetic frictions is valid. And the, uh, the surfaces cannot support more forces than the maximum frictional forces. That means the motion occurs. So when we apply the force greater than the limiting uh, force or limiting frictional value, then the motion will occur. Now we will discuss what is limiting friction. The condition of impeding motion is known to exist. That means... Suppose uh, a body which is in the equilibrium and it tends to move or slip. 
so it is the limiting friction is in the it is the maximum value of friction force that the surface can exert on the block and it is designated at f max so limiting friction is the maximum value of frictional force so if we apply the external force uh, higher than the limiting friction then kinetic friction occurs and if the external force is less than the limiting friction then static friction will happen now kinetic friction i have already discussed that when the uh, bodies uh, two bodies are in contact and they are in motion then kinetic friction takes place now we will discuss the basic laws of friction so the frictional force is always acting on tangential to the contact surface and it acts in the opposite direction to the applied force in which uh, direction the body tends to move the magnitude of the frictional force is self adjusting force that means when the applied force is increasing the magnitude of frictional force is also increasing but it has some limiting or threshold value so when the applied forces reached the limiting frictional value then after uh, that uh, the static friction changes to the kinetic friction so limiting frictional force f max is directly proportional to the normal reaction that is f max is equal to mu s n and when the body is in motion then kinetic frictional force fk is equal to mu k into n frictional force always depends on the roughness of the surface and the material in contact that means which type of material is used for uh, moving purpose so frictional force is independent of the total area of contact between the two surfaces and it is independent of speed of the velocity uh, speed of the body and coefficient of static friction mu s is always greater than the mu k and one important uh, thing to note that mu k and mu s are dimensionless now this is the end of the laws of friction thank you all